Hey, what is up guys? My name is Josiah, and welcome to another house tutorial on how to build a modern mansion. Now, the mansion I'll be building today comes with tons of space with its three-floor design and garage area, as well as its multiple levels of decks and balconies. Not only that, but it has many other awesome features, including its large pool and patio area that sits underneath the overhang of the second level. So with all that being said, let's get right into building it. Now first up, we will lay out the foundation of the house. So let's start by placing in a 14 by 16 long ring of stone blocks that is 4 blocks tall. And then after the walls are up, let's replace the floor in this area with white concrete blocks. Next up, we'll add the doors into this foundation. So beginning with this front side, let's go two blocks over from the left corner and place in two iron doors like I do here with buttons on each side. Then let's go around to the left side of this foundation and place in a couple of the same style doors at the middle part of this wall. Now with the main doors in place, we'll next add in the garage door. So from this front part of the foundation, go over two blocks from the right corner and knock out a five wide and three tall section of this stone. Then on the inside part of this gap, place in a couple columns of stone so that we can add rows of horizontally placed quartz pillar blocks between them to fill in this gap we made. Now with the garage door in place, let's also outline the garage area on the inside here by placing in walls like I do here. So now with all the doors in place, let's next add in the windows to this bottom floor. So at each side except the front, go over 3 blocks from the corners and add a pair of black stained glass pane windows spaced a block apart like I do here. Thank you. 
and then let's finish this first floor by covering it over with stone blocks across the top layer. Next up, we'll add the second floor onto the house. So start that by placing a 16x10 long ring of spruce planks that starts at the fourth block diagonally from the right corner of the stone foundation. So once we have the dimensions of this laid out, let's then fill in part of this area where it overhangs and has no floor with more spruce planks. And then let's build up walls of spruce planks that are 4 blocks tall in total along the edges of this area except for at the left side. And now let's also cover up this area with spruce planks across the top layer of these walls. Next up, we will add another section to the second floor that connects to the left side of the spruce. So starting with adding in the supports, it's going one block from the left corner of the stone, and then at the 6th and 11th block over to the left, let's place in some three tall supports using cobblestone walls. So now with the cobblestone walls in place, it's now adding the floor to this section by simply placing white concrete blocks on top and across the area of the supports. Then we will add in the walls to this section, so for just the right and left sides of this let's place in white concrete walls that are a total of 7 blocks tall.
and now with these walls in place let's cover over this area with more white concrete across the top layer. Next we will add the windows into this concrete section, so simply add in black stained glass panes between these large gaps at the front and back. Then we will go over and add in some windows at the spruce section. So go over a block from the end of the white concrete and place in a couple windows like I do here. And then three blocks over from the second window we place, let's add in another set of these two windows. So now with the windows in place, let's next add in a door to the balcony. So at the right side of this spruce section, let's place in two iron doors at the middle of the wall with buttons on each side. And then lastly for this second floor, let's add in the balcony railing by simply placing black stained glass panes around the outside edge of the stone foundation. Next up we will add the third floor onto the house. So starting at block diagonally off the top right corner of the spruce section, let's place in a 12 by 9 long ring of white concrete like I do here. Now once you have this outline of white concrete in place, let's next build up the walls of this section for just the left and right side, so a total height of 5 blocks tall. And then once the walls are up, we can now cover over the top layer of this area with more white concrete. So now in the remaining gaps at the front and back of this section, let's place some black stained glass panes for the windows.
Next, we'll add in a door to the upper deck. So at the left side of this section, let's place in two iron doors at the middle of this wall with buttons on each side. And then lastly for this third floor, let's add in railings for the deck by placing black stained glass panes along the front and back edges on top of these spruce planks. Next up we will add in the pool and patio area under the left portion of the house. So let's first start by placing in bushes from the ends of the stone foundation and around the cobblestone walls using leaf blocks. Then with this border around the patio area in place, we will next add in the pool. So under this white concrete section in between the cobblestone walls, let's dig out a 4x12 long hole that is two blocks deep. So now with the pool area dug out, let's now replace the grass and dirt that borders the pool at the sides and floor with white concrete. Then with the white concrete in place around the pool, let's now add in the water into it using buckets of water like I do here. Now lastly with the pool in place, let's next replace the rest of the grass within this patio area with stone slabs and then that will finish up the exterior of the house. Now as for what you want in the interior of the house, I'll leave that entirely up to you guys, but as always I'll quickly show you how I decorated mine as an example.
But that is going to be all for this modern house tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to hear all your feedback and don't forget to drop your like if you enjoyed as that would be much appreciated. And with that said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later guys, bye bye.